Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my Dynasty Warrior series here. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little different. For a while now I've been doing weapon guides and I did Wu's storyline. So today I got a request actually a day ago and they wanted me to show how do I do my fighting. Like how did I learn how to do all this stuff? Well it's in the tutorial and we're going to go ahead and run through one of the tutorial options today together. So I figure, why not go through Jin's? We're all so familiar with Wei, Wu, and Shu, so let's go ahead and do Jin. So we're going to go ahead and do the tutorial here. It's um, kind of slow, but if you want to know how this game works and how it plays, check out the tutorial. And if you don't want to when you get home, there's, a, there's an achievement for it, which I recommend doing it. I actually haven't done it yet. <laughs> I need to do all the other three, but this is how you do it. <coughs> So, see me use the Father of the Year, of course. So, basically, there's three... Um, it's a three-point system of weapon affinity. Uh, the order goes, Heaven is better than Earth, Earth is better than Man, Man is better than Heaven. So, they each have those. You can hit Start to confirm your weapons under your Officer Info to check what they are. So, both of ours right now are both Heaven. Heaven and Heaven. Okay. Alright, so let the training begin. They're going to go through the obvious. So you move with the left thumb stick. You turn the camera with the right thumb stick. You burp with your mouth. You jump with A. Just like what they said. So what you have to do is jump on the boxes. <laughs> don't, don't clear them twice like me. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> jump on the goddamn boxes. There we go. That's how you jump on boxes. Your skills are suffice for now. He's such a douchebag. So you guard against enemy attacks with the left bumper. Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, from behind. Father, what are you doing? Notice how we don't take any damage. Holy crap, dude. Leave me alone. Block. Ha ha. How you like that? What's up, Dad? What's up? Uh. Okay, so that's that. Alright, enough. Your skills were suffice for now, I suppose. Regain your balance after getting hit by Simi. And left bumper while you're in the air should balance you. As soon as he lets me freaking hit the ground, god. This tutorial guy's a douche. There we go. Douchebag. Golly. Uh, it's funny, in this game you can't charge Muso. Uh, very interesting. So destroy the pots with X, then run into the items to pick them up. Obvious stuff here. So we're not getting into the nitty gritty yet. That's in a little bit. Oh, there's another one. Well then. What's up, fool? Uh, daddy, you meanie. Okay, call your horse with left trigger. So you can call it tap left trigger. There's your horse. Or... You can hold down left trigger, and you get on it. I thought that was awesome. So, say I'm running towards the next objective, and I'm like, oh crap, I'm not going to make it. Oh, there's my horse, let's go, 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 go. Makes um, everything you have to do so much more speedy, so you don't have to worry about jumping on your horse and getting hit and all that crap. Really annoying. Um, well, I guess I have to get near it and jump on it. Okay, so for that tutorial, you had to call it, and then... Yeah, all that crap. Anyways, the basics don't appear to be a present, or to present a problem. Now, I will inform you about strategy. So, normal combos, so one, two, three, four. Well, I did a five hit combo. One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, what do you want me to do now, dude? X, Y, that's a two hit combo. X, X, Y, that's a three hit combo. Uh, oh, whoa! He rides him like a surfboard. He's like one guy. So, jump hit Y. You do a strong attack in the air. Or you could hit them up, jump up, and do that. But I didn't do it right, so. There we go, we did it. Sup, noob. Sup. 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 What was the surfboard one? 
One, two. So I guess they're making uh, Sima Zhao seem like a surfboard kid. So one, two, three, four, and Y. That's one type of combo. So just t you can hit X up to five times, three, four, five, and hit Y. After you hit them a sixth time, you can't use a Y to get a combo. Switch attacks are used by hitting the right bumper attack or right bumper button, which is how you switch weapons. And they always do an attack beforehand. So, right bumper, that's an attack, and then switch back, right bumper. Depending on the weapon you have, it'll do a different type of switch attack, and you can sometimes volley the enemy from it. So that one doesn't do a very good volley, but if you do a switch attack right here, and then start attacking, you can volley your enemy. So since our Muso is full, there are different types of Muso attacks we can do. So the regular B option, which is just, I'm going to do something. Try and stop me. He kicks waves at you. Or you can hold down right bumper and hit B. So that's pretty cool. And then last but not least, you have the jump and hit B. So this one is very important for if you're playing on hard trying to get these items. Uh, and the enemy keeps hitting you so much into the air, volleying you, and you can't get out of it, and you're about to die. Well, what you do is you have you have those musos available, and you hit B, and you immediately do a muso whether you're able to move or not. So, like, if you're getting volleyed and hurt, if you hit B and you have a muso, you should be able to get out of their volley and not die. So, I, that's why most of the time I try to save at least one, just in case. But, yeah. So an X attack. An X attack is the special attack that only the officer with the X weapon can do. So we're going to go to officer info. Uh, right down there you see it says X striking sword. That's his attack right there. X, X, Y, Y. There's also a more detailed list right here where it tells you what each of your Muso attacks are. And also the X capable weapon and what the X attack does. So, for our combo we're trying to do today, it is XXYY. And you'll know you've done it successfully when you see a little, like, flash go on. See, I didn't do that one right. One, two, Y, and Y. There, that one right there, where your body starts to flash, that's the Muso attack. And watch, so if you do it right, that's the surfing. So that's the X attack. And then there we go, and we missed it. So that last kick for this guy's attack, uh, for that last kick, you have to hit someone with it, or else you won't ride the wave. So that's a very cool attack. Oh, now we can kill people. Excellent. So when enemies have a, an exclamation point above their heads, you're at an, a disadvantage. You will inflict less damage than usual, and the amount of damage you take is increased. You do not want to go at these guys head to head. So you want to switch weapons, and that way you should usually have the advantage. But since our weapons are both heaven, that makes it bad for us. So see how he's blocked? He's not even blocking, but he can attack us immediately like that, and we can't stop it. We can actually stop it, but I'm not going to show you that yet. We're just going to go ahead and go over this. One, two, one, two. Oh, I missed it up. One, two, one, two. I am doing this wrong. Oh, I don't have the right weapon on, I see. So do they want me to kill him? I guess so. Two, one, two. Oh, oh, if you switch weapons at that time, that's something different, but you can uh, counter them and get an attack boost for a moment. There we go. I guess that was the task. It didn't really say it. Enemies with nothing displayed above their heads are evenly matched with you. The amount of damage it inflicted on you inflict on and take from the enemies are at normal values. So this lieutenant right here, normal. No, he has no advantage and we have no advantage. Now people with crystals, those are the people that are easy, usually easy to defeat. So if you volley them into the air, you can usually get that crystal to go down lower. So like that, and then you get to do this attack right here. And so the more times you hit the buttons, the faster it goes, I learned. So there you go. I guess they're going to tell us that soon. Okay, so when you're at a disadvantage, you can perform a switch counter. You have to watch them. So block, and then when they do that little blue thing, 
that's when you want to attack and see how you're glowing a little bit you have a little buff on you for a little bit so we're gonna block here first then you start using that then you want to hit right bumper as fast as you can hit him just like that and that's I really like that about the Dynasty Warriors game it's it's a little bit of a switch now so we just switched weapons and now we have a different weapon so now we can do a storm rush and so with our storm rush if we hit him enough to where that diamond disappears above his head while he's in the air uh, we get to do this storm rush hit the buttons as fast as you can X and Y if you're playing on Xbox and you can go ahead and do that so the diamond can be erased while he's not in the air but it's very beneficial when he's in the air it makes it um, a lot quicker anyways but if he's on the ground when he has no diamond above his head anymore that just means that the next hit you get on him uh, you'll start doing your storm rush hey don't hit me jerk thanks dad I guess so now rage mode is the um, is the left bar right there that just filled up that orange bar that's what you want to go ahead and use when you hit right bumper and you need to kill someone really quickly so I'm going to go ahead and hit that and disadvantages um, immediately disappear no matter what so this is rage so it also refills your muso immediately so we can go ahead and use muso if you hold B down you can continue a muso for a very long time if you just let go B it'll stop it watch see how there's still muso left that's what happens so we completed that now we need to perform a rage attack so that's doing the same thing rage and hitting muso so I guess this isn't a muso attack it's considered a rage attack when you use this so if I hold down B the whole time that's a rage attack and so this if you're trying to get the 1000 chain as you can see is probably going to be the most effective way to get it. I've already got 750. Uh, the way I got the 1000 chain was through this, I believe. So if our health is really far down... Um, oh wait, by continuing to defeat enemies with rage attacks, you can perform a true rage attack. It is easier to trigger if you continue to defeat enemies while holding down B. So I guess that's when you do this and you hold down B. The true rage attack is when you hit so many people. So watch our character. So he's just going. And then that right there, when that does that, that's a true rage attack. As soon as he lights up and starts doing the extra damage, that's a true rage attack. Alright. The rear gates are open, so we can head into the rear. Haha. <laughs> Make sure to take advantage of everything I taught you. Uh, 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 uh. <coughs> so we're heading to the next area. Uh, when using, so these are just little hints. When using a switch counter, your attack and defense and speed will increase. You can quickly cut down an enemy's gauge by knocking them into the air with the strong two attack. Uh, you can also receive a bamboo scroll when defeating enemies with a true rage attack. Use it to quickly increase your level when using a switch counter. Oh, so now all the hints are back. Oh, I didn't even go all the way. I was supposed to go further. Alright, so let's go all the way over here. Simba Yi, you're a douche. Alright, so defeat an enemy using the three-point system. So the three-point system, once again, is heaven, earth, and man. See how he has a exclamation point above his head? We want to change that. So, we switch weapons. And now he has... Still an exclamation point. Um, come on, change. I guess I have the same weapon. That's wonderful, Dad. Thanks. Why are both of them heaven? What a jerk. Well, doesn't matter anyways. We can take care of him either way. Alrighty. So, to start off, we should probably kill the surrounding enemies to gain some muso. This is what I would do. Because I'm at a disadvantage, I would kill some of the other enemies. And here's a bandit lieutenant. We have him at an advantage. So we'll want to knock him in the air, and you can get that down quicker if you need to. With Lubu's spear, don't really need to do that that much, because it's very powerful. So it looks like our Muso gauge is full, and we need to perform a Muso attack. Special actions can be used as the need arises. Uh, when you have the advantage. 
So, we defeated him. That was easy. So, I mean, that's it. But the draw distance on this game is amazing uh, compared to how it used to be. But the only problem is they did it. They were able to do it. But now, as they probably assumed they would get, there's lag. And so, I believe they're going to try to fix that as soon as they can. But, uh, there you go. That's uh, tutorial mode. So thanks for watching that, guys, and I hope that helps you a little bit more on how to do the attacks a little better. So uh, please subscribe if this is the first thing you're seeing of mine, and then go ahead and watch all of my guides. I am going to have, by the end of all my guides, I should have about 77 of them up. So I have plenty of material for you guys to watch. So uh, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!